Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm at you with uh, episode 245 of my TTM all day. I have uh, only one TTM that came in today, but I did get um, a contest win um, that I also wanted to share real quick with you. And I uh, also had a couple other things to share. Um, the first thing, um, I did get a request for a shout out from uh, a subscriber, uh, Madden Giant. Um, he makes uh, Madden mobile videos and uh, he did just upload a sports card video so he I'm sure he'd appreciate it if you go and check out his channel I'll leave his link in the description below uh, young man in the YouTube community just uh, having fun playing Madden and stuff so uh, appreciate it if you go check him out he's been watching my vids uh, for about a month or so now so uh, appreciate having him here on my channel and watching him so definitely go check him out um, the TTM today is, uh, which is kind of funny, the contest win is for the hit the deck contest, and the TTM I got in is for the hit the deck contest, except unfortunately it is too late. This is a seven of clubs, um, although it wouldn't have counted because Troy did get him back, um, before me, but, uh, Ed Bagley Jr., and I did send with a five dollar donation to his, uh, charity. He's got a good charity, so I didn't want to include $5 cash for that. I'm still happy to get it back. Um, he was on uh, many episodes of 7th Heaven, the TV show. He's the father-in-law of, I want to say, the girl that the oldest son married, if I remember right. I think that's who it was, so pretty cool to get him back. Um, I think he also was in the military. Not 100% certain, but he may have also been in the military as well. So uh, it's still cool. Some side of the back of some clubs. You know, still get his autograph. I wasn't sure if that would even be coming back. Cause it's, that was sent out probably February. So pretty cool to get that back. And then the contest win. Um, there's the front of the note. TTMonograph.com. Always open for a giant mail day. There's the note from Troy. Troy Rudder. Uh, Congrats, Caleb. Thanks for playing. Enjoy the vids. I'll include Troy's link down below. Definitely go check him out. If you're not subscribed to him, you definitely need to be. He's uh, definitely one of the key members of the TTM community, I would say. He's been doing it for a long time. Same as the Autograph Network. People like that. Wesker Griff. You know, all those guys. So, definitely go check him out. And subscribe if uh, you haven't already. And uh, he included two Sharpies blue just the one I like so actually yeah, I only have one so I can that one's probably going to die pretty soon so thanks to that for these two Troy and then um, two rolls of stamps so that's 200 stamps total and that's uh, enough for a hundred TTMs to go out and I do have I have been preparing them uh, since I found out that I won so those will be going out and hopefully uh, we can get back to having some big mail days again so look forward to seeing those come in so that's pretty cool then one last thing uh, before I cut out um, I uploaded episode 244 this morning for uh, Friday's recap and uh, I had to delete it because immediately after uploading it uh, some random company, I don't never even heard of them, they, claim, they claimed copyright to my video and apparently, I've watched my video and there's nothing in there that copyrighted but apparently it seems to be that they're trying to claim my intro so unfortunately there won't be any more intros to my videos unless I find some other platform to use but it's really dumb because this whole YouTube copyright system is really messed up because um, uh, about a year ago, maybe a little over, I looked up a website to make YouTube intros that are specifically for YouTube. And uh, Flixpress.org, I believe, was the one I used. Or Flixpress.com or something like that. And uh, this one was a free one. And that's the one I used to make the 10 second uh, intro that you see. And uh, apparently they're claiming it, saying as theirs, which is not true. So I've disputed it, but I did delete the video because they wanted to monetize it and show ads. And I don't want to do that. Um, 
I never wanted to get on YouTube and make money. Never wanted to monetize my account or anything like that. That just creates more problems and more. Honestly, I think more, makes you more susceptible to getting copyright strikes on you and things like that. So I'd rather not do that. And uh, so yeah, I decided to take it down. Uh, I re-uploaded the video without the intro. And it seems to be fine now. So um, I don't get why they are claiming that. I mean, even if if I did leave that video up, they'd make like one penny, maybe. <laughs> I get like what 50 views on my videos, so I mean, what what is that going to do for them? But uh, I know if you guys are like curious, you know, what is this YouTube copyright and uh, fair use kind of deal? Um, a guy who explains it really well is a good YouTuber that I've been watching for a couple years, uh, Matthias. Um, I'll leave his the description or in the description. I'll leave a link to his video, and he does a good job explaining that. If you just like to educate yourself on that, so you know more, and he does a good job, so that'll also be in the description. Uh, I think that'd be well worth it if you do YouTube videos, just just to be aware of what is going on and kind of how messed up the system is, and also understanding what exactly uh, fair use and copyright is. So just a public service announcement there, and uh, that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully I'll be back Monday with another big mail day, like uh, last Monday, so, um, excuse me, um, hopefully uh, I can be back, so uh, talk to you later guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you later, bye.